Let's sidetrack. There's also a little uh, manual quest we have here. Let's complete this because that will give us... Oh, wow. Great. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, and we're back with more Seven Days to Die Darkness Falls. Yes. We are going to have some fun today getting our quests to tier 3 or even tier 4. Tier 4 would be preferred. So this is going to be a bit of a weird episode because we're not going to show every single quest we're going to do. But we're also not going to do any quests from the guard captain. Because as far as what I was told is the guard ca cap captain's quests don't count towards the progression in the tier quests. If that is right or wrong, I'm not sure. But what we're going to do is, this is the very first tier 2 quest that I picked up. So I, I cancelled all the quests that I had to tier 1 because we just unlocked tier 2. And I'm going to start doing the first tier 2 quest. We're going to count them and then I'm going to keep count of them. And then we're going to see how many tier 2 quests it actually takes to unlock tier 3 quests. So right now we have tier 2 unlocked. And as soon as tier 2 hey, got unlocked, guess, we also got the extra that, options uh, unlocked. You. Do you have any new recipes? Which is really awesome. He doesn't have any left because we bought them all. So for like a thousand, you could get like a, a recipe for two thousand another. So we bought them. Can you teach me to be a better crafter? So there's nothing here. But what I'm assuming is that if you don't have certain knowledge of certain craftables, he will actually give you the recipes. Well, if you buy them, you have to have money on you, of course. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and I'm going to just do one quest after the other. And then we're going to head on to see how many it takes to tier three. So it's gonna be a bit of a collection or collage or whatever you wanna call it, uh, because I'm not gonna show you the details of all the quests. This one just happens to be exactly opposite, which is handy. So these are my favorite type of quests, of course. And there's only so many we can do, of course, within 24 hours, because um, he only has a limited amount. So let's start this. Um, this is a clear quest. So this house is cleared, it should have gone very quick um, from the edited version and literally in and out, probably just showing the first um, couple of kills and the last kill. I'm not going to destroy everything in these houses because I want to literally get as quickly as possible to the next tier. The only thing we do loot though is we're going to loot the main treasure room in each of the houses and I will show them, of course. So we're going to open all of these guys here. There we go. The final room. And, oh, Calipers, nice. They're actually really, really good. I like it. And what do we have here? Oh, yes, a compound bow. That is amazing. Is That, that is much better than what I have. Oh, no, my range actually is here, 35. So we're going to have to compare them side by side. So I'm just going to do that on camera, actually, because it is always one of the things that I keep forgetting. We have to equip the same arrows. Otherwise, it's not a kind of fair side by side com comparison. So now this one does 35. And this one does 32. So it's still slightly worse than the one I have. So let's see here. What do we have? More ammunition. Very good. And we have the final reward. Yes. Oh, that is brilliant. We're actually going to sell this one because I already have one. So I know there's a lot of plastic here, but I'm just not going to do this right now. Oh, this box, of course. And I know there's some boxes spread throughout the house as well. But we are literally just mainly interested in getting this all um, done to the next tier. Okay, let's hand that in. Um, which one? Oh, the excellent. Three bandages. We're going to take that. So that was number one. Let's take the next job. We have another clear, fetch clear quest 430 meters away. He actually has some eggs as well. So we do, we're always going to be watching out for eggs and anything to do with powders and um, tips, of course, and casings as well. Oh, look at that. We have a recipe for a steak and potato meal. Oh, wow. I'm so going to read that. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Polymer, duct tape. That's all really good stuff to, to buy. Here we go. Here's the satchel. Beautiful. And it's also a clear quest at the same time, so we want to make sure we kill every one of them. There's one upstairs, I believe, left. Oh, what is here? Something hidden. And we also want to find the treasure. Oh, ho, 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 baby, yes. We got hit a lot, so we're going to have to take some antibiotics uh, when we get home. This is actually really good. All for sale. And this one, shotgun breaching slugs. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to keep them. So probably a bird. Oh, it is a bird. Uh, 
and we're done excellent beautiful what do we have in here oh very nice look at that that is very beautiful well that's number two done and i can't see actually a treasure room in here at all i can't find one this is an outside door as far as i understand it's unlocked anyway yeah so there seems to be absolutely nothing here in regards to treasure room fair enough all right second quest handed in wooden bow very nice but we're gonna go with the generic schematics that's a no-brainer okay so let's see what we have here okay they're getting further and further away fetch and clear quest 972 that's a tier two as well quick stop at home taking that antibiotic thank you very much just bought all the medication as well from our trader over there on the top and we're gonna take that as a preventative not to get affected again and we're also gonna take one of the tablets so we can get some of our health back let's do it this is gonna be a tough one number three Here we go. Oh, nice. We now got hazmat gloves in the loot as well. That is really nice. I was a little bit worried at some point that we don't get any hazmat loot. And then one of you actually was saying to me that this is completely depending on the game stage as well. And here's the supply as well. Very nice. We cleared it all out. We got the supplies. And back to the trader but we're gonna have a quick look around here and see if there is actually a main treasure room in here we also have a safe here actually so that should be really quickly dispatched off very good oh nice look at that a turret very cool also for good resources if you want some nice um, polymer and you want some nice metal and some electrical components get all these signs here i don't know what these lights actually give me let me see oh very good they actually give you bronze as well Okay, this POI is very good for plastic because also these lights give you plastic. Not all the lights do, but these lights in specifically give you, I think, up to three or something plastic each. Oh shit. Screamer. That worked out well all right there we go next quest done scrap boots they sell for 85 scavenging notes oh yes we're definitely gonna take that thank you so much and let's see do you have any other jobs um again we have still two tier one there but i'm not sure why they keep showing up but we're gonna purely focus on tier two okay let's sell all the stuff that we want to sell wow that's what you get for trying to double loot. Ogre in a car. Very nice. And we haven't even started the quest yet. <laughs> Number four, let's go. This POI, it's a coffee shop on the outside, but on the inside, holy crappers. There is a lot of loot here. There's two safes here already. Oh, nice. Junk baton. Oh, nice. Ammunition and another robotic turret. Sweet. Wow. Mine's in the bathroom. Not good. Luckily, a little bit of drink and some cooked chili is exactly what we need. Here we go, nice. Well, that quest didn't count, so number four quest coming up. Fetch.
Wow, random box, hidden stash. We found Winchester rifle parts. That is pretty amazing. And military boots. What are our current boots, actually? They're military as well, and they're not as good, which is absolutely fantastical. So we can actually put these guys on, modify them, put our upgrade in, and there we go. And then we can wear these instead, and we can sell those. Nice, very good. I like it. Oh, and here in the corner is the bag. Very good. Hmm, what is this? A military truck that's locked. Oh, we have a couple of lock picks on us. Wow. Okay, that worked with the first lock pick. Nice. We got an advanced bellow that I spent some money early on buying. And we got a blood draw kit. And some 40 by Nice. All right, let's hand that one in. Let's see which one gives us more money. Iron pickaxe or... Baseball bat, iron pickaxe. Okay, we're going to make more money with that. So let's see if you have another job. That would be job number five then. And the only one that is tier two left is this dude. And then we have to hey, wait for the night. So we're going to have to probably take a small break. And we're getting into another new town. And maybe we get lucky and there is a trader in here as well. That would be absolutely awesome. Okay, there's some very nice new POIs here. A Sates rocket launch pad. Absolutely love the look of that nice oh look at that that is amazing wow let's go Right, we're done and it has a treasure room that is awesome oh these boxes on our shotgun messiahs very nice now this is exactly the same one as we had before except the shotgun messiah boxes now let's see what we get oh nice oh beautiful this is just absolutely amazing oh nice and we have another water purifying, purifying mod. That is sweet. Quest number five complete. Money in here, are you? Oh, nice. We get some skill notes. I love it. This was five quests. We completed tier two. There's nothing else he's offering us. Um, we're going to sell these guys here. And we leveled up more again, which is really, really good. And he doesn't refresh until no day 25 anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go home. I'm gonna sort out everything that I've looted so far. Hello! There we go, nice, right in the gadoink. All right, Wrecked, give me the next quest. Do you have any jobs? Oh yes, we have plenty, and some of them are actually close. Let's do a buried supply hey, quest, absolutely. Let's sidetrack. There's also a little uh, manual quest we have here. Let's complete this because that will give us, oh wow, great, oh, are you kidding me? It has... Oh my god! Why did I decide to do this right now? Holy crap, Apple! Wow! Two Screamers? Are you kidding me? You were not joking. Okay, here we go. And what do we get? Oh, look at that. We got some ammo and nothing too amazing, but it's a quest. It's done. And nothing better than stumbling upon a airdrop on the way home. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a steel club. If we repair that, that probably gives us a pretty penny. So this is quest number six. Okay, this is the extra quest. And yeah, I'm not gonna do that quest. So we're going to take that and then we're gonna sell it straight away. Do you have any other jobs? 
Still tier two. Not sure why he gives us a tier one. Let's do the tier two fetch and clear. Okay, buying all the food for possible cooking recipes. Never know. And let's go and see if we have some things for us. Some tips. Some gunpowder. Oh, we got some vegetable stew I'm not going to say no to. Some glue, some oil. Very good. I like it. Now, there's some tasty recipes. We have blueberry pie and super corn. Well, why not? We don't know them yet. Now that we have the money, we might as well spend it on them. Duct tape. Always can use that as well. This could smell of dog. Let's do it. Ah, let's do a sneaky double loot on that. Nothing too special. Hold your horses, hold your horses. We had a loot bark from a boar. Oh my God, we got a baby boar. That is insane. Special, brilliant. There we go. Nice. There's also some boxes here. Let's have a look. Some loot bags. Very good. What do we have in this box? Nice. Oh, bookcase. Already have all three levels of that. And what do we have here? There's no treasure room, but we have a box here. Oh, nice. That is a good one. Let's see if we can out damage that one. Let's put the iron ones in. 33, 35. This one still does more damage, but it's a Taza bow, so it's not your ordinary wooden bow. Oh, wow. And the last loot bag has a treasure map and another Magnum. Nice. All right, number seven. Ooh, shotgun choke tightens the shotgun spread. Ooh, okay. Let me see if we have any other jobs. Still tier two, and this one is 1.5 kilometers away. Okay, we'll do it. That is sweet. We got four add-ons now, or four mods in it. Rod Remover, Shotgun Choke Mod, Retracting Stock Mod, and Blessed Metal Mod. We're doing a lot of damage now. That is pretty awesome. Sweet. Another airdrop. That's the one that dropped earlier. That's the one from today. Oh, nice. Look at that. Nice. That is some sweet-ass upgraded steel knuckles. That is a sweet-ass military base. When you can punch a wolf in the face. Nice. Yeah, definitely gonna need to do that in an episode, guys. All right, here we go. This is a monstrosity of a POI. Seems pretty big. Let's go. Is there literally a treasure chest outside? Oh, my balls. A time charge. That is amazing. Wow, I found the therapy room. Yeah, please come in, sit down, and have a chat. <laughs> Excellent. All right, number eight handed in. Leather leg ammo or honey. Well, honey is more important. We need that for crafting. Okay, do you have any more jobs? Okay, they're all tier two now, which is really good. Oh, nice. And this one is a clear zombie quest. So we made it past midnight. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. I just checked the trailer to make a quick cooking pot. And we have a hundred forged iron here that I completely forgot about. Level two clear quest. What is that? Oh my god! Shoot it! 
Destroy it. Don't even take the risk. Nice. There's a nice reward room. We still have a zombie somewhere. Not really sure where, but we'll find him. Oh, nice. Some gas. Ah, empty. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, look. You can also open them with the crowbar. <laughs> Safe. Ooh, nice. This is selling nicely. Love it. Another safe. Very nice. Lots of safes in here. Very sweet. There was the last one. Holy balls. Creepy. Look at that. There was something fishy going on, all right. Oh, nice. They were worshipping the damn shit book for bikers. Oh, look at that. Another lathe. That is sweet. Not that we need to, but that is absolutely fantastic that we have a second one that we now found. Oh, look at that. Nice. Another airdrop. Quickly get to it before we roll down the hill. Oh, nice. A really good baseball, but fortunately, and another lathe. Oh, my balls. We're like swimming in lathes. All right. Let's see what we got. Sterile bandages. Yeah, definitely take them. Thank you very much. Now, do we have any better crafting recipes? No. Is it still tier three? Uh, tier two. Okay. So we did nine quests now of tier two. Theoretically, this one has to be it. All right, before we start, we're now level 77. You know what that means? We can now make the coil rifle and the coil sniper. So the coil rifle uses 762 coil rounds, which let me see, coil, there we go, 762 millimeters. So that's bullet tips. Oh, we need steel bullet casings. Fair enough, steel bullet casing. Then we have the AP rounds, which I'm assuming are gonna do more damage, which, need, which means we need armor piercing tips. So if we look at the armor piercing tips, we can make them from lead metal. So they're just lead, iron, and clay so that's absolutely fine the advanced forge also by the way is crafting at home at my base and um, which takes about 14 minutes so it definitely should be finished by the time we get home i kicked it off at the beginning of the episode and um when we visited my base the first time with the first uh, five quests so it should be all done anyway so this is the final one let's give it a good shot let's hope for the best oh look at that it's actually right at the floor where we got in that is so sexy there we go nice bam oh that is so sexy that we didn't even have to go for the full house loot run but you know what this house must have a treasure room i'm gonna look for it anyway all right found it very nice let's pick up these bag f bags first and let's have a look what we get before we loot the chest let's see is there anything we can put into quality joe we actually can put two more points into Quality Joe. Very good. And is there anything else? Lucky Looter, that's part of a different class quest, which we don't have yet, I think. Lucky Looter Scavenger. Actually, we have that scavenger quest, but yeah, I'm not going to do this right now. So I don't think we can put uh, points into that until we have completely done the quest. So let's have a look. Nice. So let's fingers crossed for something good. Okay, this is actually not bad. That is a lot of nuggets and a lot of ammunition. Flaming arrows. Oh my balls. You can't com can't complain about that. That is really sexy loot. Okay, so let's open this crate here. What do we have in the chamois box? Okay, the usual. All right, excellent. That's for sale. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is, if I didn't count oh, anything wrong, number 10. Before you come into you my shop. We take this that because it sells. Mad after all. Now let's sell these guys here first. It says tier two fetch quest completed. Sale is a sale. 
Is there anything else coming up? Is a message? No? Okay. Now, do you have any jobs? These are still tier two either way because it's still the same day. I think it's only when he refreshes his quests. Oh, open trade routes tier two. Nice. This is it. This is it. This is the sign that it worked because we now have open trade routes for, tri for tier one and open trade routes for tier two. Which means after we sleep the next morning, we're going to get tier three quests. Does he have any more crafting recipes or any other recipes? Yes, look at that apple pie. Nice. Oh, yes. And do you have any vegetable stew? Beautiful. So now we have apple pie. Very, very sweet. And we have a vegetable stew, which is just spots and the mushrooms. Yeah, we're going to have to get the mushrooms to grow. So we're going to have to put them near water. But this is amazing. This is definitely the sign we did it. That is absolutely done. So the next episode, when we start, we're probably going to be on day 27. And then um, I'm going to have to sort some things out in my base. I'm going to have to make sure everything is crafted. And, oh, I have to bring in all my loot. And then we're going to have our first tier 3 quest. And I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're probably going to go into one of those special POIs, I think. That would be really, really good for one episode, just to completely go through one of those POIs, like, and look at it properly, you know, see what's going on. And hopefully they're big enough that they will last for at least, like, a good 20, 30-minute episode. There will be very little editing. Well, there will be some editing, but mainly we want to explore the POI, so there will be as little editing as possible. But anyway... I'm not sure how this episode will end up, but if you guys hopefully enjoy this type of episode where we just say, let's quest from tier two to tier three, let's quest from tier three to tier four, and I can just do a kind of a highlight video of the the quests and the tiers to unlock the next tier. If that is something you enjoy every now and then, you know, let me know because we still have to get from three to four now and then from four to five, which is going to bring us to the final bunker. And all this is in the best effort to get our game stages up as high as possible, because as higher the game stage, the more likely we're going to start seeing hazmat items in the loot. And it's all bound to the game stage, basically. So the more enemies, the better. And we have Zets 200 life at a time, so we're going to get a lot of Zets with the quests as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming.